and welcome to Beyond Computers, the show that equips you with digital skills, familiarizes you with digital tools, and helps you realize your full potential in your studies, your career, and business. Let's dive right into it. Today we're going to be talking about cloud storage. It's difficult to store data in our computers and phones over a long period of time and we're usually left with two options to either delete that data or to look for other devices such as hard drives and flash disks to store that data. But now thanks to cloud storage we can be able to keep these files for a long long time. Cloud storage provides us with a platform that has limitless amount of space and the only thing that you require is internet connection. So how does cloud storage work essentially? When you upload a photo through a cloud-based service such as Google Drive, that file gets copied over the internet into a data server. Database servers are actual physical places where companies store your files on multiple hard drives and you get to access these files through the internet. Most companies have hundreds or even thousands of servers spread across multiple locations. What are the advantages of cloud storage? The first advantage of cloud storage is that it ensures you never lose your data permanently. Hardware such as computers, phones and hard drives are vulnerable to breakage and malware. Should you lose your computer, phone, tablet or any other device, once your information is in the cloud, you're guaranteed to find it and restore it into your new machine. While external hard drives are a good way of backing up data, they are also vulnerable to malware and breakage. You can therefore not just rely on them alone as your backup plan. Also, the more data you accumulate, the more hard drives you'll have at your disposal and it can get cumbersome to find storage space for all of them. Cloud storage relies on redundancy. It is possible that a company that offers cloud storage service could also be exposed to malware or even breakage. But the fact that they store your information in multiple hard drives, should your cloud service provider lose some of the hard drives, you are guaranteed to get that information so long as you're connected to the internet. The two main concerns with cloud storage are reliability and security. It is difficult to trust another company with your data, especially if it's of sensitive nature. However, you need to consider that the companies that offer this service need your business. They have therefore put measures to ensure that your data is safe at all times. To secure data, most companies use a combination of techniques which include encryption. Encryption uses a complex algorithm to encode information. To decode the encryption files, a user needs an encryption key. While it's possible to crack encrypted information, most hackers do not have access to the amount of computer processing power they would need to decrypt information. To stay safe, stick to reputable names. There are over 100 companies that are offering this service. Check out the link displayed on your screen and you'll find a list of some of the reputable companies that offer the service. Secondly, the authentication process that requires you to key in a username and password. Most passwords are hacked because they're too obvious. There are certain ground rules like don't use your birthday, the name of a spouse or your children because those are easy to hack. Most cloud storage providers will guide you into creating a good and strong password. For a password to be strong, it requires a mixture of letters in both upper and lower case, numbers and other digits. The length of the password also matters. Some providers such as Google Drive have an additional way to ensure that your password is not easily accessible because they give you an option to do a two-step verification process. This is where they send you a code to your phone that you have to input before accessing your email or Google Drive. Authorization is key. This means that information is only accessed by certain few who have been approved. For example, a frontline employee will only have access to very limited information, while the head of human resource on the other hand will have access to much more information. This authorization process ensures that sensitive information is not accessible to the wrong category of people within an organization or business. 
The other big concern is reliability. An unstable cloud storage system is reliability. While most companies try to address this issue through redundancy, there is always a possibility that an entire system could crash. Therefore, do not entirely rely on cloud storage as your backup plan. It is always advisable to have more than two backup plans, your first being your computer or phone or tablet or other device, second being a secondary hard drive or SSD card, memory card, flash disks, compact disks or other external form of storage and the third one being cloud storage. There are hundreds of companies in the market that provide cloud storage services but I can't be able to look at all of them so I'm going to look at a few that might apply to your unique situation. My all-time favorite is Google Drive. Google Drive works for everybody. One of the perks of Google Drive is that it starts you off with free 15 GB of space. The other great thing with Google Drive is that it's integrated with all its other applications such as Google Documents, Google Calendar, and that means you get all your things synchronized in one. Other than the fact that it gives you 15 GB of free space, Google Drive also allows you to buy up to 30 TB of space, and that is a lot of space. The second cloud storage-based provider we're going to look at is Dropbox. Dropbox has been in the market for a very long time, and it's still very popular. One of the reasons Dropbox has remained popular is the fact that you can be able to use it with any operating system. Whether you operate a Mac OS system or Windows or Linux, any system that you have is compatible with Dropbox and that puts it at the very top when it comes to competition. The other reason Dropbox has remained popular is the fact that it's very secure. So far we have not had any incidences of hackers accessing information or data from clients who subscribed to Dropbox. If you're in business or you handle sensitive information from work, I would advise that you go for Mega. Mega puts its security credentials at the very front and center. When you subscribe to Mega, you will get an encryption key. This key is only known to you and nobody else. Even Mega employees and staff do not have access to your information. The only way someone will have access to your private information is if you give them the encryption key. The other thing I love about Mega is the fact that other than I'm assured that my data is going to be safe and no one can access it, including Mega itself, it also offers a whopping 50 GB of free space. That is even way more than Google Drive. For more information on other cloud storage-based providers, check the link on your screen. Today most of us are constantly listening to music or watching videos on our computers or phones and more often than not, we use earphones or headphones as our sound output. Other than being detrimental to our hearing, these devices can also get uncomfortable. But now we have a device that promises to make the experience much more exciting and healthier too. Check out our Unleashed video of the week. Introducing Batband, the first high-fidelity bone conduction headphone. A truly groundbreaking product, which makes your social lifescape compatible with your private soundscapes. Place it around the back of your head, pair it to mobile device, and enjoy the sound like never before. Batband talks directly to your inner ear, freeing your outer ear so you can stay connected with the world that surrounds you. Wow. <laughs> Feeling. Oh. You feel the vibe. It's quite cool. You can feel like, like the music. This is really cool. The biggest tragedy in life is not having tried at something and failed at it it is at never having tried at all. Do not let fear keep you from embracing digital technology, which if embraced and used appropriately, is bound to make your life easier and better. That is why we are here, to demystify digital technology in the language that you understand. Thank you for watching Beyond Computers. Until next time, au revoir.